Now weather with meteorologist Beth Finello. Good morning and thanks for joining us. Elisa has the morning off. Yesterday we reached a high of 53 here in Springfield, 56 down in West Plains, and 57 in Mountain Home. Unfortunately, today things are going to be a lot cooler than that. We're starting off at 32 degrees here in Springfield with a northwest wind at 8 miles per hour, so it is going to be a windy and chilly day today. 33 in West Plains, 32 up in Rolla, and 36 in Branson. We're about 15 degrees colder now than we were at this time yesterday, so we're about 20 to 30 degrees colder than we were two days ago and with these winds out of the northwest making feel like temperatures at 25 here in Springfield, 26 in West Plains and 23 up in Rolla. Satellite and radar is quiet. It will stay quiet throughout much of today. We'll be looking at blue skies and sunny conditions much like we saw yesterday but today things will just be a whole lot colder. If we're looking at the wider picture things are quiet across much of the Midwest but as we head out to the Pacific that's where that next storm is going to come and this is the storm that will impact impact us here in the Ozarks later this week. Right now we've got a high pressure sitting out to our west. That's what's bringing in that cooler air and those winds out of the northwest. It is going to be very breezy today, much like we saw yesterday. And with these dry conditions out there, we do have an elevated fire risk for today, just like we did yesterday. So make sure you keep all of your burns under control or have no burns at all today. That would be the best. So today we've got mainly sunny and cooler conditions. We're only going to reach a high of about 42 to 44 here in Springfield. And then overnight tonight, temperatures will get chilly, dropping into the lower and middle 20s, maybe a couple of teen readings out there. Through the day tomorrow, temperatures will stay just about where they are today, but clouds will start to increase as our next system comes through. So let's talk about that. We're going to have this pattern set up where the jet stream or the path of the wind is going to make a detour up into Canada and grab that cold Canadian air and bring that down. Now, this cold air will help aid in the snow development of for this weekend. The storm now still off to the Pacific, so we're still not 100% sure on the characteristics of this storm, so we have to wait until it does make landfall to learn more. But all of the models still very consistent with showing rain to snow mix and then into snow Friday into Saturday and continuing that through the day. Saturday eventually tapering off Saturday afternoon. Now, like I said, rain to snow Friday changing to completely snow across much of the Ozarks. Now, we're not talking totals yet because, again, that storm's still off to the Pacific, hasn't made landfall yet. Once it makes landfall, we can learn a little bit more, and then we can update you on totals and timing and amounts. So, we are going to be very cold this weekend, Friday through Sunday. Temperatures really going to range in the lower to middle 30s, and then by next week, looks like we'll be warming back up into the 40s. We'll keep the precipitation from Friday through Saturday. We could have a flurry or two on Sunday, and then things start to dry out by the middle of next week. 44 for today, cooler and breezy, 24 degrees overnight tonight, chilly and quiet tomorrow. Still looking at temperatures in the middle 40s, a mix of sun and clouds, winds shifting out of the southeast, bringing in some moisture again to help aid in those rain and snow showers for Friday. And for Saturday will be chilly this weekend with flurries possible on Sunday, mix of sun and clouds Monday and a little bit warmer by Tuesday.